Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Hi, everybody. We're playing Warcry. Um, and then, let's see, here is deployment. We are playing from the standard core rulebook, the Cursed Metal First Convergence uh, Battle Plan. Yep. Uh, we are using this drain, as you see here. We've already got all of our models set up. Uh, the victory condition is Steel of Prize, and our twist is Rainstorm of Garan. So we have a lot of Matt's, healing available. Uh, Matt's blue and I'm red. So we have um, our uh, daggers come on. Well, he has his dagger come on and then my hammer. Yeah, your hammer, which is over here. So those come on round two. And then the, oh yeah, the, uh, the victory condition is uh, attacker defender. The players roll off, the winner chooses who is attacker and who is the defender. At the start of the combat phase of the second battle round, the defender picks a fighter in, in their warband to be carrying treasure. The fighter must be on the battlefield. The player whose fighter is carrying the treasure at the end of the third battle round wins the battle. If the treasure is instead on the battlefield, the attacker wins the battle. So I won the uh, the roll off and then my, um, so I'm defender and I, I picked my leader to have the treasure. And uh, so Matt's gonna be chasing me around. And, well, luckily I have some cavalry available now to do some chasing. Yeah, and um, the uh, twist is Rainstorm of Juran. Human winds have carried rain clouds from deep within Juran. Jade droplets can heal wounds and invigorate the spirit. It's a double, and um, you can use any number of uh, damage points, or sorry, you can use a double to um, heal a, a fighter equal to the double. All right, let's get started. We need to roll for our hero phase, six dice. I'll go ahead and roll first. Okay, so uh, two triples. That will be helpful. Not bad. At least for first turn. But I likely will not be going first. Let's see, double, double, two singles, um, and I'm actually going to... Oh yeah, the... Uh, oh jeez. Uh, I will make... I will make this, let me make sure I know my abilities, but I'm going to probably make a quad out of one of these. I'm actually going to take initiative and I'm going to bank my wild dice. Okay. Uh, how, many sing how many singles did you have? Two. Okay, yeah, you'll take initiative anyway. Oh, there's really nothing... I'll keep it as... I'll bank it. I will bank it. Because there's. I don't really gain anything from a quad from my current abilities. Okay, and uh, since you're going first, you move your first. You move your first model. Okay. What is the movement on these guys? So I'm just going to uh, wait with her. You know, I need to. Uh, I need to grab my um, tokens. Oh, okay. You go ahead and she's waiting. You go ahead and do your. Okay, I will activate my leader, spend my triple to give wall, and give them all an extra four inches of movement. And then, wait, that's a part, that's, a, that's not an action. So, yeah, I can just burn one per, yeah. So, he will then move. Oh, can I get the ruler? Thank you. So... You now move seven. So let's go two and then five and then we measure from the edge, right? Yeah, face to face to base for yeah. so. 
So then he'll move right here. With this, I popped a wall with my four inches, so he got 14 inches of movement. And that's your leader? Yeah, and he double moved. Okay. All right, so I'll activate her. She can get there. She's she's move six. So I'll just put her into melee with your leader. Alright. My turn. Oh. Oh, whoops. So seven. And then I'm just gonna so, use four to get right here, and then another three to get within base to base, or within an inch. And that'll be his turn. Oh, yeah, I gotta use the, uh, I'm gonna keep track of who's gone. These guys closer. You don't, for the record, you don't declare who has the treasure until the start of the second round. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, do it now. Well, you can change it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, because then everybody's on the board. Uh, okay. Um, well, it has to be somebody who's on the board the first round. Yeah. Or it has to be somebody who's on the board the second, or, yeah, but can I get the... I'm gonna... Ruins right there, and then I'm not gonna be able to get him within melee range, but gotta use that movement while I got it. So I'm gonna put him right there so he can go through there next turn. Okay, oh, go and then. I'll move, move this guy. Four of ten. Just put him right there. All right, and he's gonna move eight, so. Six will get him out under the bridge, and then just another two, and that's it for him. And then he's going to, let me see, what's his distance? First time using mounted, two inches? Okay, that makes sense, because he's a giant model. Uh, Wait, let me see if there's an ability I could use. Is that within one inch? It looks it, right? What's his reach? A two, but is he within one inch? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's like an inch. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I might as well use it. I'll use the Gore Grunter Charge. I'll burn this triple. My last triple. So when he ends his move within one inch of an enemy fighter, pick one visible fighter within an inch, allocate a number of damage points equal to the value of this ability. So this guy's gonna take two damage. 
Okay. All right. That's all my special burned, but uh, now he's just going to use his uh, action, that other action to attack. So, damn. Two attacks, strength five. Okay. Uh, what's your strength? Or uh, what's your toughness? Um, she is toughness. Oh, do you um, want to use one of my cards for the. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've got. I've got enough on one card to fit both. So what was that? She is um toughness five. Okay, so and we're even, so that's fours, fives, and sixes to hit. Okay, so that's four damage mm -hmm. from crit. She's still up. Alright, and that's it for my for that that pig pig's turn. Alright, and uh, so that's my guys. I'm going to move her. Oh, does it say anything about being on the edge of the, like within a certain number of inches of, of the edge at the end of the turn? The right start of the fighter who is carrying the treasure at the end of the turn. No, if it, uh, the only, it's, the only uh, specific rule is that if the person carrying the treasure is killed, uh, then you have to pick it up or else I will win. Mm -hmm. If it's still, if it's on the ground. It does not give a table edge specification. Okay, just move, moved her over there. All right. So that's round one, right? Yep, that is round one over. Now, if I'm not mistaken, reserve space. Okay, so we do the hero phase first. We roll and then we'll bring our reserves in. Okay. Okay, so I've got doubles, and then a lot of singles. And I'll make the, oh, I'll, uh, I'll use my current wild dice, I will bank my current wild dice, and I will use this to turn it into a triple. Okay. And actually, let's go. Ooh, that's a lot of singles. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you got you got four. I got two doubles. So, or sorry, two singles, two doubles. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna use both of my wild dice. I'm gonna make two triples. Okay. And I'll use my other wild dice to make this, uh... I'll use my other wild dice to make this five a double. So, there we go. All right, now we bring our reserves on. Uh, they have to be, let's check the, where's the... Diamond? Yeah. So... Yours can be anywhere along this table edge, and then mine has to be within this half, so I am definitely going to put him closer to that half, side of the half. Uh, where's the half exactly? Yeah, right, right there. there. Whoops, and I'm just going to squeeze them as close to that half as possible, where you want them. Because they come on too. Um, I'm actually going to put them on, like, right there. Okay. All right, we're all set up. Um, I get the first one, right? Yep. Okay. Uh... Uh, first I'll take... Uh, how many wounds does he have left? She has... 
Um, four, five, six. She has four wounds left. Okay, I'll activate him first, and he'll just double attack her. Mm -hmm. So, orange boy with a big chopper. Three to uh, strength five, right? Uh, yeah, definitely. So five. I'm on fives and sixes. So first round of attacks. So that's four damage. Okay, yeah, that's it. Just do it. Okay, and then. He'll just, if I could get the tape, he'll just move three inches mm -hmm. up, and then he has acted. Oh, we need to, I need to pick up all my X's. Okay. okay. And he's gone. All right, I'm going to activate my spirit host. Come on, you can get there. Oh, I'm just short. What's his reach? You only need to be within an inch to, like, lock somebody up in melee, right? Uh... You actually have to be based. Base. You have to be uh, within. I think it's within. Straight yeah, you have to be within the distance. You have to be within an inch to lock somebody in. But let me make. Um, okay, so move abilities. Because he can get. He can get like an inch away. He's he's actually he can get like a half inch away from your. Um, your cavalry guy. Okay. Um, so, shoot, what are the, um, the universal abilities, like, okay, the, if the fighters, are, if, uh, yeah, they're right here on this table. If a fighter is within one inch of an enemy, they can make a disengage action to move away. When the fighter makes a disengage action, the fighter can move normally up to three inches in any direction and must finish the action more than one inch away from the enemy. So if... So you can lock them down, but they can still walk. Get yeah, away. but it's a, it's an inch. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so and he's just gonna he basically. Or, or actually, no. Wait. What's his? His he actually might have the movement. The universal abilities are right here. He had no. It's I was right. I was right. It's ten. So he can get just there, like he's um, he's like right. Well, you're not base. You're not at the edge of the base. For yours. Yeah. So that's, if, if I put him, like, I can get him within an inch, basically, if I move, move him. Okay. And move him that, like, right. You double moved? Yeah, double move him, like, right there. Okay. And then, oh, I should have moved him first, because he has reach, but that's all right. Um, or he has two inches of reach, but you would have cover, um... I can fly him somewhere. Well, yeah, sorry. So he's done. Okay. Um, or, or, let's see, I could use his, I'll use, um, um, no, he, never mind. He doesn't have the, uh, I could, you can't, you can't no. use two, you can't use two abilities on the same model's turn, and you can't use abilities that your model, your model does not have the wound marker for. So, but the a double with a double, you can give them an extra attack, right? Uh, and yeah, with the uh, onslaught, you can add one to the attack characteristic of the attack actions made by the fighter, or just give him an ex like you give him another what is like a um. Uh, like a charge or whatever. Uh, you could do rush to add one to the move characteristic of this fighter until the end of their action. No, what I want to do is like give him an attack. Oh, so you do onslaught. It's still a double. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll use... Add one to the attack characteristic of the attack action that was made by this fighter. Okay, so I'll do an onslaught with him and then do an attack on him. Okay. I so I'll spend one of my triples to do a double. Okay, I am toughness. Four? Oh, toughness four. All right, six attacks. 
Uh, strength five. So hitting on threes, four, threes. Uh, not bad. Better than average. So four fives, so that's four hits. Um, four. Oh no, he's uh, toughness six. But it doesn't no, matter. No, it's strength. It's your or, strength. Or sorry, strength, he's, but he's strength six. He's strength six. Okay. So it doesn't it doesn't matter though because it's still threes it's still hitting on threes. Yes. How much damage? So that is um, four points. Okay. So he'll be one since he's first one left hand. Just for four points. Yeah. They the night hot have a high crit amount, mm -hmm. but oh, they don't yeah. do they don't do as much damage on average. Okay. You also get up again when they die. Mm. Um. Well, he has to use stuff to to get them to get up. Yeah. But yeah. yeah um, exactly. Okay. So. Uh, I'll use. I have my double and my triple. I'm going to. Let me make sure I don't have a good ability here. Can I borrow that? Okay, that's, nope, not within range. Uh, well, he has the, he has the range to attack still. So I'm gonna pop him, I'm gonna pop uh, He's in melee though. I know, I'm gonna attack. Oh yeah. I'm gonna pop this for Onslaught to give him an extra attack. And roll my attacks. So he's got three attacks, so that's gonna be, and what's your, what's your toughness? Um, he is toughness five. Okay, so it's fours, fives, and sixes, but it'll be, uh, Three attack per attack action. So first attack action. So that's four damage. Another four damage. Okay. And he has gone. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, and you were supposed to declare who had the treasure this turn, but I'm assuming you It's heard. her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to activate her. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to do this guy. So I'm going to move him, get him into melee with him. And then he is uh, strength three. What's okay. your what's your toughness? Uh, four. Okay. So fives and sixes. Three attacks. Oh, I'm so rusty. Not played this in a long time. Okay. Um, that's one hit. No, it's four. four it's fives four. and sixes. Oh, fives and sixes. My toughness is higher yeah. than your strength. Yeah. Okay. My turn. Or, or, um, yeah. Yeah, never mind. You're right. Yep. Okay. I'm. I will. Let's just move my. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, oh, he has a ranged weapon. Okay. Uh, he is going to move up a little bit. So he'll move three. So a little bit over here. And then I'm going to uh, burn my triple for foot of Gork. Uh, and aim it at, he's still within, he's still within a foot. Yeah, I'm gonna aim it at him. So, 
So, uh, foot of more. Pick a visible enemy within 12 inches. Him. He has cover. Well, it's... Yeah. Just... <laughs> it's not an attack, it's a magical ability. Oh, okay. Uh, for each... Uh, I... Okay, so... Pick an enemy model within 12 inches, so... That one. Uh, and this fight, I roll a number of dice equal to the value of this model, so I'm gonna roll six dice, and I don't need this anymore, so I'll roll them. Uh, for each two through five, allocate one damage to this model. For each six, allocate three damage to this model. Okay, so two through five. So one, two, three, four, five damage to this model, and then another three, so that's eight damage to this model. Okay. All right, and that was his ability. So let's see, am I within... I'm within seven inches, so I'm gonna shoot at him too with his range, with his range attack action. So I get two attacks. Uh, what's your toughness again for this guy? Uh, five. Okay, so I am strength three, so fives and sixes. Okay, no damage. His turn is done. Okay. Um, hmm. What's her range? Nine inches. Let's see. You can pre measure, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I've been doing it. All right, you're out of range. We'd have to move her to use that. Um, I think I'm gonna activate him. Okay. And then uh, he's movement five, so. I want to only play one game, so Mike is sitting here for another. Hey, hour. I know, I know. Yeah. I was thinking <laughs> Okay. I'm watching. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna move, move him. 10. Yeah, I'm just gonna fly him up right here. Okay. Um, so he's done. All right. Uh, we'll have. Hmm, I'm gonna start moving stuff towards your, uh, how can I get that? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, I don't have any abilities, so I'm just going to move. I'm just gonna double move him up here. So okay. he, there are some more wounds in between. You and my boss, mm -hmm. and he's done. Good. All right, and then um, I'm going to activate him and put him on your boss. Okay. Or, oh wait, he was actually in, he could do, he was in range, he could do two attacks. Uh, well, I don't know, you moved him before you measured. No, I mean, he was right there. Okay. Uh, so, but I want to get her in there. I mean, I'm just trying to lock you up anyways. I don't think he's going to do any damage. It's fine. I'll just put him right... I'll put him right there. Uh, so... We'll just do one attack. And then... Uh, strength three. Uh, toughness four. Nothing. It's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Is that both attacks? Um, well, I, I actually moved him okay. so that I could get her in there, too. All right. Or, you know what? I didn't even have to, need to do that. She has one inch reach. 
because he has one inch reach, she has one inch reach. They could have both, or she would have had to move. He could have gotten the two attacks and then she could have. I mean, do you want to take that move back? Yeah, Probably I mean, I, he's, I he's like, he's, he is right there. Yeah. So I'm just going to, I'll do, I'll do the other two, the other attack. So, but again, hitting on fives and sixes. Hey, a crit. So, How much damage? Um, that is two damage. Okay. <laughs> okay, that would be right. two because he got damage second. All right. Um. Okay. Can I? Where? Oh, there it is. Uh. So. Eight. Eight. Yep. Okay. So, do I want to run her Got over it. there? So it feels so good to have actual movement. Yeah, yeah, right. Um. Max on crutches, you can't hear it. <laughs> um, just because I'm really worried about that guy, I'm gonna put her into him. Uh, and then do the one attack. Okay. Um, so she is... Uh, toughness five. Oh, and he is. Oh, that's my triple. Toughness four. So I think threes, fours, and fives. Or three up. Three attacks. For reference, right. for reference, each of the pigs has Wait, 30. Which one, which one is the attacks? This is the attacks, right? No, th okay, this is toughness, this is number of attacks, this is strength. Right, okay. No, she's, sorry, she's strength, uh, strength three, five attacks. Okay, so uh, it's four, it's fives and sixes then. Yeah, fives and sixes, but five attacks. So that's a lot better. Damn, really? Yeah. Which one is it? Jet Scythe Heritage. Oh, okay. Cool. Five attacks, fives and sixes. I know it's it's a, it's a game that's trying to be international with the use of symbols, but it does make it a little annoying. So one crit um, for uh, three points. Okay. He will be three. Okay. 32 wounds to go. <laughs> yep. Why well, I'm super worried about him. Um, For the viewers, if you're wondering why there are not more pigs, if I have painted more pigs, I would have more pigs. <laughs> I'm, I'm one short. Anyway. Okay. All right, well, this guy's my last guy. He's just gonna waddle his, uh, where can I get that? He's just gonna waddle his fat butt six inches. So he's just gonna be just past this. That's a gate, right? Yep. Yeah, he's gonna be right there. <laughs> Okay, so my well, his fat little butt. She what is her range? She has um nine inch range. So she's gonna do oh wait, that's just is it face to face? I mean it's like just outside nine. Her and no, then it is outside. Um she's going to move up. Just enough to, I'm actually gonna measure it. I'm gonna keep as much distance in between there as possible. Uh, just like a half an inch. Just gonna move a half an inch. I'm gonna use her, uh, her she's gonna do her triple. To, okay. Um, uh, she uh, is gonna bring this, uh, she's gonna do a spectral summons and bring this fighter back within three inches of her. Right there, in between. Okay. No, I'll put 
Yeah. Yeah. I'll just leave him there for now. Perfect. There for now. And then she's going to do her magic attack on him, um, which is toughness three. Okay. Uh, strength three. I have toughness First, four. Strength three. Yeah. So two attacks, ranged attack. Um, so fives and sixes. Fives and sixes. Come on. Double sixes. That's one. So one crit, that's uh, five points. Okay, so that puts me up to eight wounds on him. Yep. Where are those fives and tens? And that's, uh, that's round two. Yep, we take all of our little... Yeah, did I move that? Yeah, I moved everybody. Take all of ours back. Did I have one of them? Yeah, I got one of them. Okay. All right, now we roll off again. Oh, oh no, a triple, not a good triple. And three singles, looks like. Oh, he's probably won initially though. Triple, triple and a double. Um, I use my wild dice to make. Uh, I don't think you can take initiative from me. So no, but I'm, I'm deciding make, whether I want to six a double. I think I'm gonna just make another triple. All right, and then uh, my turn. Let's see. Yep. How many wounds does he have left? Him? Yeah. Um, he has thirty wounds. He has let's see, five, eleven, fourteen, uh, sixteen. He has sixteen wounds on him, and he has thirty total. Okay. All right. I'll. How many wounds do they have? They both have um, eight. Okay. I could conceivably kill. And what about that guy? Um, ten. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. Yeah, I can't move my pig guy until I get some of these guys moved. So. Uh, he's gonna double attack him. Mm -hmm. well, let me see if uh, I have an ability that only he can use. Let me see if it's worth it. Is that worth it? Uh, probably not. I'll save it for later. Uh, I think I'll start actually with this guy. And he's gonna first attack this. Yeah, he's gonna attack him. Mm -hmm. Well, her. Her. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it worth it? To... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to. So, to disengage, I gotta go three inches away from you. Or I have to be. I can move a max of three inches as an action. It is an action, yeah, right. Okay. And then you have to end your movement farther away than you started. Yeah. Oh, I just love the terrain messing me up. Because um, if I kill it, you'll just run the other one next to me and lock me up again. Right. That's the plan. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll, I'll activate my leader first, because this isn't going to be any good for his... Uh, of Gork. So he'll, uh, I'll activate him first. He'll use Waw to give everybody an extra two inches of movement. How far do they have to be? Is it it's within, it's everyone within six inches. Oh, okay. So him. Yeah. But so everybody but, but him. Everybody but him. Uh, hopefully he, they can get some advantage out of that. And then he's going to double attack this guy. 
with his staff. And that was your, that was a double? That was a triple for me to use. It just gave them an extra two inches of movement. It's not much, but right. I need to be able to get them up the board. Mm -hmm. um, so he, so I use my triples. So he's going to attack. What's your uh, toughness on this guy? This guy is toughness uh, four. Tough. Okay, so three, uh, four, five, and six, and that's the uh, shield, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so that's even. So it's fours, fives, and sixes. So first round of attacks. Uh, that is Damn. three damage. Oh, oh, three total? One, two, three damage, yeah. He doesn't hit hard with his melee weapon. Oh, only three. Okay, yeah. well, he's still up. Right. And then I'll attack with him again. So, nothing. All right, he's done. Okay. I'm just going to put these on him. He's going to die very soon. Um, <laughs> let's see. So... I'm going to activate the go go big or go home. Um, I'm gonna do her. I'm gonna do two attacks with her on him. Um, can she do a frightful touch? Um, no, she can't. Let's do that. Um, so yeah, I'll do two attacks with her. Um, so that's 10 attacks. They have five attacks. Yeah, five attacks. What's their top or strength? Strength is three. Okay, so it's fives and sixes. Yeah, ten attacks, fives and sixes. Come on. Oh man. That's probability for you right there. One, so two. one six. And but it, yeah, so how how much damage? Um that is three damage. Okay. For her. Yeah. That sucks. I was hoping for at least one more five, a couple, a few fives. Got one six. And that's her. Okay. Um, I'm going to have... And he's on her, right? Mm -hmm. How many wounds? Ten. Uh, I'll have this guy go first. And swing away. Uh, let's watch further for shield. Okay. Uh, so six attacks. Okay. Let's just do this. Six attacks total. Okay. What's your toughness? Oh, for those guys, it is uh, toughness four. Okay, so it's uh, fours, fives, and sixes, so two damage. Just two? Yeah, I, well, I rolled really low. Okay. I mean, this is just, this is keep away. Yeah. That's what, that's what we're playing. Which is why I wish I had a third pig. Yeah. Um, all right, so I'm just going to go, no, uh, I'm going to do him. Okay. Spirit, spirit host. Two attacks on the other cavalry. All right, toughness four. And I'm going to use the frightful touch on him. So um, each hit from his attack is a crit. What's his strength? His strength is uh, three. Strength three, so fives and sixes. Yep. But still, every every hit is a crit. So and six attacks. So that's twelve attacks. Six, six, twelve attacks, fives and sixes. Oh, man. Okay, well, 
Four hits. Four hits, two crits. I thought you said all. No, they're all crits. You said they were all crits. Yeah, but the, so yeah, all crits, and then that is um, 16 damage total. Okay. Yeah. He's my, my power piece, but. So, you said 16? If I knew the scenario, I wouldn't have actually used him. I would have put more, just more dudes to run interference. Mm. Okay, so it was 10. I do like this list though. 10. Uh, 10 minutes, 25 seconds. 16, okay, so 16, 19, 20 damage so far. Is he bloody yet, at least? Oh yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> My turn, um, I'll... I'll double move, I'll double attack into him with this guy, because mm -hmm. I, I need to make room. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, no, I have, I, I, had a, I had a double six, I'm going to save it, hopefully. Uh, so what's your toughness on them? Um, they are toughness four. <gasps> okay, so four of fives and sixes, I got six attacks. Okay, so that's three hits. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage total. Dead. Okay. I mean, you can move your skulls. Oh yeah. So which one was that? Did you, was that him? Yeah, that was him. Who killed him? Okay. Uh, but can you can you put the X on him? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Making me nervous over there. Uh. Well, I need to see if I wanted to do something else. Um, but that was was that that was two attacks, right? Yeah, but I can still use an ability after I attack, if, it, if as long as the condition isn't required before I attack. I'm going to double, because I need to make room. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to double for charge on him. Uh, he's going to... Mm -hmm. If I makes a bonus move action, he must move closer to a visible enemy. Mm-hmm. So he's just going to move around so mm -hmm. there's room. Okay. And uh, that's it. All right. And then everybody else is activated except for him and him, right? Him oh, wait, he, he, yeah. he still needs to go. All right. Um, I'm going to whoosh him over. Actually, I got I to gotta measure it. Yeah, you can't move over me. Can you? You have to move. Well, I I can, but it's going to take all of my movement. Because I have to go around. Um, well, I could actually, I could do attacks on you from up here, I think, because he has two inches of reach. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, I don't know if he, he can't do it, or, I mean, he kind of can. Right now, he's kind of there. What would you say? Would you say that's like within two inches? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, he'll do. Uh, Wait, do you have to be on the same level as somebody to attack them? I don't know. I because if it's a ranged attack, then no. Yeah. I just I don't know like as far as melee. Let's look at, let's put a cut there and look it up. Uh, yeah, on a fight. Because he has a reach of two inches, and then he's on top of this thing. We were looking up whether or not he could just reach down and attack this guy. We can't really find anything like that. I was going to fly him over here to lock everybody up over here so that they couldn't get to my leader, who has the treasure. But at the end of round three, um she is just going to have the treasure anyways. Yep. So Matt's conceding. Yeah. <laughs> Good game. Good game. All right. 
Do we want to do another one or do we want to check out the game store? Or do we just want to play play board games? We